Today we will tell the story of Moses' death, found in the book of Numbers, chapter 27, and in the book of Deuteronomy, chapters 30 through 34. May the word of God reach our hearts as a source of inspiration for our lives. The setting sun painted the horizon with golden hues, bathing the camp of the Israelites in a soft and comforting light. Faced with this celestial spectacle, Moses, the venerable leader of the people, felt a divine calling echoing in his heart, guiding him towards the imposing mountain that rose majestically before him. With determined steps, Moses began the journey towards the mountaintop, where he knew he would encounter the Lord. Each step was laden with significance, for he was about to receive a revelation that would change the course of Israel's history. Upon reaching the summit of the mountain, Moses found himself before a breathtaking sight. The promised land lay spread out before him, a vast expanse of indescribable beauty, with lush hills, rushing rivers and fertile lands ready to receive the people chosen by God. It was then that the voice of the Lord resonated within Moses, like a divine whisper penetrating his soul. Moses, my faithful servant, said the Lord, this is the place I promised to give to the people of Israel. However, because of your mistake in striking the rock, you will not be able to enter the land, but I will allow you to see it before you depart from this life. Moses' heart filled with a mixture of emotions as he absorbed the words of the Lord. Feelings of gratitude and sorrow intertwined within him, for he knew that although he could not accompany his people to the promised land, he still had the blessing of beholding it with his own eyes. Then, with humility and reverence, Moses addressed the Lord with a plea in his heart. Lord, he said, this people needs a leader who can guide them with wisdom and discernment, someone who can lead them as a shepherd cares for his sheep. In response, the Lord revealed to Moses the name of the one who would be the new leader of the people of Israel. Joshua, a man endowed with a spirit of wisdom and courage. He would be anointed before the entire congregation, receiving divine authority to lead the people on their journey to the promised land. And so, with the last lights of the day painting the sky with their vibrant colors, Moses conveyed the words of the Lord to the gathered people, instructing them to follow Joshua with the same devotion and obedience they had shown to him. As the people bowed before their new leader, Moses felt a profound sense of peace flood his being, knowing that, despite his own destiny, the future of Israel was secure in the hands of God and his chosen leader Joshua. The sun rose majestically on the horizon, painting the sky with hues of dawn as the people of Israel gathered to witness a historic moment. Moses, the great leader who had guided his people through the desert, stood before the crowd, his serene and determined countenance radiating an aura of authority and wisdom. Before him, Joshua, chosen by God to lead the nation after Moses' departure, stood with humility and reverence. He felt the weight of the responsibility about to befall him, yet also the confidence that the Lord would be by his side every step of the way. With solemnity, Moses led Joshua before the high priest Eleazar and the entire congregation, there, under the watchful gaze of the people, Moses laid his hands upon Joshua, imparting to him the divine authority and the mantle of leadership that the Lord had entrusted to him. Then, turning to the people, Moses uttered words that would resonate for generations, echoing like a call to life and prosperity. His voice, firm and melodious, carried the weight of experience and conviction as he shared the divine commandment he had received. Hear me, O people of Israel, declared Moses his eyes shining with a mixture of authority and compassion. This is the commandment that the Lord our God gives us today. Love the Lord your God and obey his commandments, for in him lies the source of life and blessing. A solemnity fell upon the crowd as Moses outlined the consequences of obedience and disobedience. He vividly described the path of life and prosperity for those who followed the Lord's commandments contrasting it with the bleak fate of those who would stray from the path of righteousness. Finally, addressing Joshua with words of encouragement and strengthening, 
Moses conveyed to him the confidence and assurance that the Lord would be with him in every battle he would face. The hearts of the people pulsated with a mix of emotions as they witnessed the passing of leadership from Moses to Joshua, knowing they were about to embark on a new journey toward the destiny the Lord had prepared for them. In the imposing shadow of Mount Nebo, which rose majestically before the city of Jericho, Moses contemplated the vastness of the land spread out before him. The setting sun tinged the horizon with golden hues, casting an aura of melancholy over the solemn scene. There atop the mountain, where the breeze whispered ancient secrets and the birds wove silent songs, God revealed to Moses the fulfillment of a promise made centuries ago. With eyes brimming with emotion, Moses beheld the land of Israel, stretching before him like a tapestry of promises and hopes. From the north to the south, from the east to the west, murmured God, his voice gently resonating in Moses' ears. This is the land I promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You see it now with your own eyes, but you shall not cross its borders. Moses, the faithful servant of the Lord, felt a mixture of gratitude and sadness as he absorbed the grandeur of the vision before him. At the age of 120, his physical vigor was still notable, and his eyes, though aged by time, gleamed with an inner light that nothing could extinguish. Then, like a gentle breeze caressing the face of an old friend, death came for Moses. The Lord received him into his loving arms, carrying him to rest in a secret grave in the land of Moab. The people of Israel mourned his departure for thirty days, honoring the memory of the great prophet who had guided them through the deserts of life. No voice rose like Moses's, no leader compared to him in all of Israel's history. But even amidst the pain of farewell, a promise lingered in the air, a ray of hope illuminating the future with promises yet unfulfilled. For God had promised that one day, a great prophet would arise among the people, a man like Moses, whose voice would echo through the ages, bringing with it the light of truth and the promise of redemption. And so, even in the shadow of Moses' death, hope flourished like a resilient flower in the desert of uncertainty. This is the ninth and final part of a series where we tell the biblical story of the search for the promised land. Stay with us so you don't miss the next chapters of this story so important to all of us. And if you missed the previous episodes, we have a complete playlist with all the videos in chronological order. Our next video series will tell the story of Joshua. You can't miss it. If you're not subscribed to our channel yet, click the subscription button and join our community. Don't forget to comment, leave a like, and click on the notification bell. Your presence and participation here are very important to us. Today I want to leave you with a verse from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 34, verse 12. For no one has ever shown the mighty power or performed the awesome deeds that Moses did in the sight of all Israel. May God's presence be a constant in your life, bringing blessings, joy, and love. God bless you.